Hey y'all, it is Jamila here and uh, I'm actually about to run into a meeting but I wanted to stop and share some thoughts with you that I hope will be an encouragement. You know, this month um, our theme at Loved and Blessed has been brave and being brave. Um, and something that's kind of been running through that theme as we've been talking about it is being brave enough to say yes. Being obedient and trusting God and saying yes, even when it's hard, even when it doesn't make sense what he's asking you to do, even when other people might think that it's crazy or strange. Um, and so that's what our box of encouragement is about. That's what our um, workbook and all of our discussions in our community this month have been about. And it's just, it's really been a huge encouragement, um, I know, to me and to also a lot of the other ladies. And it was so funny because something happened in the last like 48 hours and uh, it just dawned on me how beautifully it is a testimony of being brave and being obedient. Um, and you may have seen me share this on some of our uh, other, um, in, in the community actually, but um, you know, a lot of the ladies who are members of Loved and Blessed are struggling with different things. Um, you know, we all struggle with things in life and, and sometimes we're in a season that's just hard and sometimes there's actually a big monumental thing that maybe we're struggling with or that you are struggling with. And Loved and Blessed as a community is a place where it's actually safe to share those things and share the challenges and share what's on your heart. And there are so many beautiful women in there who pray for each other. It's not just me. There's other encouragers in there who are praying for each other and reaching out to each other. And one of the ladies in our community has been struggling so hard. And it's been a struggling for all she's been struggling for a long time I personally just started reading this book called um a long obedience in the same direction and um I'm only like a chapter in but it's already started to really bless me in just the times where it, the struggle is hard and and just because you know, sometimes we're struggling through something and it's it's only for a month or a week or a few days. And there's other times where we've been struggling for the same thing for a really, really long time. And it's hard to keep that endurance up and the faith to keep moving forward. And so this lady um, has been struggling for a really, really, really long time. And she was just feeling so hopeless and so depressed. And she shared that in our community and all of us rallied around her and were encouraging her. And then I just found out yesterday that one of the ladies in our community reached out to her directly outside of our uh, online group and actually went and visited her and just was there for her and uplifted her spirit. And for me, that is such a testimony of being brave and being obedient when God tells you to do something, when the Holy Spirit puts something on your heart that might seem awkward, you know? It, it, reaching out to someone who you've never met in real life, but you know is going through a tough time. Reaching out to them, taking time out of your day, your schedule to actually go visit someone who in some ways is a stranger and just encouraging them and letting them know that they're not alone. And that's what Loved and Blessed is all about. And I'm just so grateful to, to even just see that come to fruition. I'm so grateful to see that the themes that we talk about each month, that people are really taking them to heart and that they're doing something, that they're touching each other's lives. And that's what, that's what I, I pray for. And that's what I'm so grateful that God gave me loved and blessed to even just be a small part in that in encouraging other women. And so I just had to share that because it's just such a testimony of like, uh, yeah, just that obedience. We were talking the other day in the group about, you know, how sometimes our disobedience can block someone else's blessing. And this is such an example of that, of like this woman was just, she was just feeling so alone. And so for someone who in, in a lot of ways is a stranger to her to reach out and be obedient and just reach out to her and spend time with her. Um, it's just a, it's, it's just, it's, um, it's just such a blessing and her obedience, she was able to be a blessing to someone else and she changed that woman's life in a way that I don't even know if she realizes how big of an impact just her taking that time out to do that um, 
is and has been for that for that other lady. So I just I really wanted to share that to encourage you that if God puts something on your heart and you're scared or you're like this is going to be awkward or I'm not sure how to do it, just trust him and do it anyways. Do it anyways because you have no idea how your obedience might bless someone else and change someone else's life for the better. Make them not feel hopeless and not be in a place where they feel like they want to give up. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with that with you guys. And I just, I pray that you'll take that to heart and you will just listen for the, the spirit's leading, um, in anything that he might be asking you to do, especially for, for other people, for strangers that you don't really know, but you have some sort of connection to in your community that's around you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. And, uh, yeah, I just, I just pray that you would be obedient, that you would trust him even when you're scared because you never know how your obedience is going to change someone else's life. All right, ladies, I will chat with you again soon. Bye.